So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at this Fox Farm Ocean Forest Potting Soil. It's one of the best sellers on Amazon, and you can buy it at Agway and Home Depot and all sorts of places like that. I bought it in the uh, 12 dry quart or the 13 liter size, and it's uh, really popular on Amazon. So I figured I want to see what all the hype was about. It gets super good reviews. A couple things a negative I saw about it, which we'll investigate. Again, it's super popular, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It's also quite expensive, so I really wanted to see what all the hype was about. I bought this smaller than normal bag just to uh, limit my investment, but take a quick look at it, do some planting in a container, see how it goes. Just for reference, you know the, the material is pretty normal stuff. Bat guano, earthworm castings, 50 to 60% aged forest products, perlite, sandy loam, fertilizer, dried from fish emulsion, crab meal, shrimp meal, earthworm castings, that sort of stuff designed for container gardens, potted plants, and house plants. So just as you'd expect, given the smaller bag and the higher than normal price and the contents of the perlite. It's a nice sturdy bag. It arrived with no problems. So if you do have to ship it to your house for any reason, as opposed to just going to your local garden setting and buying it, it does arrive in good shape. And I had no leaks or anything like that. No chunks, lots of perlite, really light. It's not that wet. Yeah, I'm surprised by how light it is. Usually when you're buying these higher end stuff, like a coast of Maine or a Fox farm has some weight to it, but being a container soil, I guess this makes sense. I would say like something like this would be the biggest chunk I've seen in it, which is really nothing. So that's quite nice. Don't see any bugs, no mites, no maggots, nothing like that. No ants, no worms. So looks really clean there. Again, very high content of perlite. That'll keep it nice and light. And uh, then that's sort of the biggest chunk we're seeing, stuff like that. Okay, so we'll fill the container, see how it does. Okay, so the dirt is in the container. I did put some seeds in there. I'll be using this turtle tree. And these are early riser pole beans. Should be a nice option. And here's everything good to go. And put the first watering in. Okay, looks like really good drainage. Hasn't picked up too much weight, but it looks like some nice absorption there. And now it's just time to wait and see how it does. So I will say that so far, I really like this Fox Farm ocean soil. It's really nice, no chunks, no bugs, no mites. I have seen some negative complaints about the price as well as some mites, but mine didn't have anything like that in here. It arrived in really good condition with no punctures or anything like that. The soil looks great with my first watering. Really a lot of perlite, limited chunks, no junk in there. Maybe it's a root or two, but really no junks in there. And it is really nice and spongy and healthy feeling. So far, so good. And I'm continue, excited to continue to try it. Thanks for watching.